We have a different angle today because my room literally looks like a moving truck just like shot all over the place. Awesome. I'm using natural lighting right now, not my ring light. So let me know what you guys think here in the eyeball. I'm also using my old lens because again, I still can't figure out how to get that thing in focus on autofocus without making noise during the video. I've tried the mic. I'm just seriously struggling. That perfume bottle head is bothering me. I'm super stoked for today's video because we are going to be unboxing my first BoxyCharm ever. I actually tweeted you guys, I think that was like a month ago now, asking what your thoughts are on BoxyCharm and a lot of you guys had really great things to say. So I thought I'd check it out. By the way, on my lips right now is JCat Beauty Wonder Lip Paint. I'm trying this out. Haven't used it before. I think they're supposed to be like the lip tars. Oh, and it's on my tooth. Let me change in the part. BoxyCharm. So BoxyCharm is a box. This guy is $21 and you get over $100 worth of product, which is awesome. It's not sample sizes, they're complete, either full or deluxe size samples, which I really like because there's something about samples, I just feel like I rarely actually use them. Got my scissors, let's do this. These scissors, I probably get more questions about than anything. These are just gold scissors from Amazon. I can link them down below if you want to buy them. They're really nice, they're super sharp, so you have to be careful, but they definitely add a little pizzazz to your Instagram photos. You know what I'm saying? So this is what the inside of the box looks like. There's a little card on top. Let's read it. So it has a list of all the products and the prices. I've seen a lot of BoxyCharm videos lately, but I haven't watched any because I wanted to be surprised with what's in my box. Oh, whoa, what the heck? Okay, so the first thing I see is there's a Reveal 2 palette in here, which is awesome. So already this basically covers the price of the box. You guys know this is one of my favorite palettes ever. I'm gonna be having a huge giveaway coming up when I hit 100,000, which is just insane to me, but we'll talk about that in a later video. But I'm kind of like saving stuff here and there for that giveaway. So I'm gonna put this in here so you guys can have a chance to win this palette. This is probably actually my like most used eyeshadow palette. I used to wear eyeshadow every single day and I've just kind of stopped since work because it's just not something I feel like I have to wear. When I was in my eyeshadow phase, I literally wore this thing like every day. I have a whole review on this, which will link over here. I have a couple of shadow and schmooze videos using this palette as well. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Okay, this is exciting. This is the Ofra Powder Cake. Oh wait, should I see how much these cost? So this is the Ofra Illuminating Blush Stripes. Full size, this is $35. So it's basically a highlight or you can use it as a four color, wait, four? Yeah, four color eyeshadow palette. I've never heard of the brand Ofra. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna swatch it all together like you would wearing it as a blush. That's actually really pretty. You guys see that? Just like a light peachy kind of shimmery color. These are really pigmented. The white one is perfect if you're a pale princess and you need that highlight going. So this is what they all look like individually. See, this is my thing. How the heck do people go like this and it focuses on their hand without making focusing noises? Tell me how to do that because I have a mic and it still doesn't work. Just have it not on autofocus right now. Side tangent. Okay, a little bit powdery, but when you blend them in, this way it looks nice. Why do I have like 10 things of baby wipes over there? So that was the Ofra powder cake. Now I want cake. Next is the Cool Way Smoothing Lotion. Some kind of hair thing. Let's read about it. This is normally $24.95. Packed with vitamins and proteins to smooth and control unruly hair. Applies needed to damp or dry hair and then style as usual. What does that smell like? That smells exactly like something. It sounds pretty liquidy. Looks like it's like a clear formula. It smells exactly like something. My hair is super long. I might be doing a hair routine video. I don't know, would you guys want to see that? Next is a perfume. I feel like that's kind of risky of them to put in a perfume because I feel like everyone has such different scents. Preferences, scent preferences. Ooh, this actually smells so good. This is the Harvey Prince Hello. Oh, this smells amazing. It normally retails for $21. These are scents with purpose. You can normally buy them on harveyprince.com. I already have perfume on right now, but we're going for it. Yeah, I like this and I feel like I don't really have anything like this yet. This is the last thing in this box. Jing Eye Velvet Lip Jewel. Highly pigmented, long-lasting color, macadamia seed oil, shea butter. So it's like a lip pencil. Reminds me of the Revlon, what were those called? You know what I'm talking about? Ooh, so this is actually really pigmented. That's a pretty color. I feel like this is a nice, like, springtimey red. Maybe I'll include that in a shadow and shoes. Doesn't really smell like anything. You don't have to sharpen it, which is nice. You just twist it up from the bottom. And I've never heard of this brand. The thing I like about these kind of boxes is that you get to try products from brands that you would never 
find out about really otherwise. I'm really jazzed about this perfume. All right. So that was everything in my BoxyCharm box. For $21, I feel like that was totally worth it. Reveal 2 palette alone, like what the heck. So let me know down below what other boxes you guys like and if you think there are any I should try out. If you want to check out BoxyCharm yourself, I will leave their link down below. If you like this video and you want to see more unboxing videos, give it a thumbs up so I know. I also wanted to mention super quickly that I started a new series on my blog called New Shit Friday, every other Friday, which is basically where I post all the new makeup that came out that week or things that I found or things that you guys tweeted me. I'll put that link down below, but if you come across any new products that you see or anything, just tweet me or tag me in something on Instagram and I'll screenshot it. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.